اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي جعل الحمد مفتاحا لذكره وخلق الأشياء ناطقة بحمده وشكره والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا وطبيب قلوبنا أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين خاتم النبيين أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المظلومين المعصومين أما بعد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كلامه فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذا قرأ القرآن فاستمعوا له وانستوا لعلكم ترحمون وقال سيدنا أبي القاسم محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم النظر إلى المصحف عبادة وأيضا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أعلم الناس من جمع علم الناس إلى علمه صدق الله العلي العظيم وصدق رسوله الكريم My respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Once again praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most gracious, the most merciful the one who has provided the opportunity for all of us, especially for us, to have another program of Quranic studies. So, inshallah, Rahman, as you see, we I'm with uh, Brother Sajjad. So, inshallah, Rahman, he's gonna greet you too. Then we will start our program by supplication. Inshallah, Rahman. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. My name is Sajjad Ibrahimi. Ah. Okay, so let's inshallah brother Sajjad uh, first pray and then inshallah we inshallah. start our program. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ali muhammad. Allahumma khrijni min dhulumat al wahm wa krimni bin nur al fahm. Allahumma iftah alayna abwaba rahmatik wa anshur alayna khazayna ulumik. برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد. Okay brother, so today إن شاء الله الرحمن we have to explain about سورة ال قادر. But before we go to سورة القادر brother, let's إن شاء الله put the آيات for our brothers and sisters and I would like you to. Read the translation, inshallah, Rahman. Okay. So, as you know, brothers and sisters, every week we <coughs> try to memorize one short sentences of the Holy Quran. So these cards are all from the Holy Quran. So and uh, and also I have written the the uh, the surah number and the verse number, or the chapter number and verse number. So. Inshallah, as you see on the screen, the first ayah that we have to uh, memorize uh, and uh, is, Inshallah, we put that uh, ayah in the screen and you can see it, Inshallah. So this is from Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 83. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقولوا للناس حسنا ادفع بالتي هي أحسن السيئة repel evil by what is the best وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا 
nor let some of your backbite others. Salam alaykum bima sabartum. Peace be upon you because you were constant. لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون. By no means shall you attain, attain to righteousness until you spend out of, until you love. اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن. Avoid most of suspicion. وتعاونوا على البر والتقوى. And help one another to goodness and piety. إن أقرمكم عند الله أتقاكم. Surely the most honorable of you with Allah is the one among you most careful of his duty. وَقُلْ لِعِبَادِي يَقُولُ الَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ And say to my servants that they speak that they speak that which is best. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا يسخر قوم من قوم. O oh, you who believe, let not one people laugh at another people. وَأَحْسِنُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Do good, and indeed Allah loves the doers of good deeds. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be good to parents. وَإِذَا قُلْتُمْ فَعْدِلُوا وَلَوْ كَانَ ذَا قُرْبَا And when you speak, then be just thought it be against a relative. Though it is against relative. وَأَوْفُوا بِالْعَهْدِ إِنَّ الْعَهْدِ كَانَ مَسْئُولًا And fulfill the promise, surely every promise shall be questioned about. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَوْفُوا بِالْعُقُودِ O you who believe, fulfill obligations. فَاسْتَبِقُوا الْخَيْرَاتِ so strive as in a race in all virtues. 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 Oh, I forgot one brother. This one. وَلَا تَزِرُوا وَازِرَةُ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى And no bar barrier of burdens shall bury the burdens of another. Yeah, so nobody will take responsibility of other people's sin. Everybody is responsible for his own action. Thank you, Brother Sajjad. Okay, inshallah, uh, Rahman, uh, we, uh, my uh, dear brothers and sisters, 
uh, inshallah or Rahman, um, we continue today. We go through Suratul. Uh, we go to Suratul uh, Qadr. Okay, inshallah. Uh, before we go to Surah Al Qadr, remember, uh, brothers and sisters, I just recited a verse of the Holy Quran, and uh, it was from Surah Al A'raf, uh, which is Para 9, and uh, verse 7. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this uh, verse, uh, and when the Quran is recited, or when the Quran is read or recite it, then listen to it and remain silent, remain silent, that mercy be shown to you. So according to this ayah, doesn't matter who recites the Holy Quran, we should, inshallah or Rahman, remain silent and pay attention and listen carefully, inshallah or Rahman. So if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveal his mercy upon us. And also Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that looking or, or uh, uh, seeing or looking uh, in the Mus'haf, in the Holy Quran, just looking at it is ibadah. And also he said that uh, the, the, is, the is, is smartest People are those people who add other people's knowledge and their knowledge. So we, 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 may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah give us strength to just listen to our brothers and sisters and uh, in case if we uh, do not know something, we learn from them. Uh, but uh, inshallah or Rahman, if we, even if we know then it will be revision inshallah or Rahman or if there is any mistake so inshallah uh, all those brothers and sisters who uh, are knowledgeable more knowledgeable they can help uh, our brothers and sisters so let's inshallah or Rahman uh, start with Surah uh, Al-Qadr brother Okay? Inshallah wa Rahman. Do you know what was the ayah for today, brother? Sajjad? Um, what do you mean? I mean, which, which ayah we were. Which ayah was for today? Fastabiqul Khairat. Right? So today's ayah is Fastabiqul Khairat. Right? Every week we put one new ayah, right? Or mm -hmm. one sentence. So this fastabiqul khairat is today's ayah. Alhamdulillah. So according to this ayah, we have to try our best to get reward. You know, you see that? So strive, right? Can you? Can you? Read that and then you will see, brother. Strive us in a race in all virtues. So each of us have to try to get more reward. Okay? We have to compete with each other to get reward. Okay? So if there are um, some, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, we ask our, our young brothers who want to call Adhan, you know, even though a lot of people know how to call Adhan, they look at each other. So according to this ayah, we should compete, we should come forward and get, um, call the Adhan. So we get more reward, inshallah, if we do that, right? Or recitation of the Holy Quran or any, any good deeds, you know, we should strive our best, we should try our best uh, to get the we get more reward. Okay, inshallah, brothers and sisters, uh, we start Surah Al-Qadr, um, but inshallah, uh, if you would like to call in, then inshallah, you're welcome. Uh, if you want to recite any surah, if you want to share any uh, 
um, any uh, beneficial things with us or whatever, inshallah or Rahman, you're welcome. If you have any questions uh, regarding Tajweed, regarding recitation of the Holy Quran, you're welcome to, inshallah, call. So I will try my best to answer as much as I know. In case if I do not know, then inshallah, or Rahman, next week I will answer. Okay, inshallah. So let's let's go to Surah Al Qadr, my dear brothers and sisters. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. This is this is استعاذة أو تعوذ and just my my dear brothers and sisters just make sure you pay attention to this أعوذ ذو بالله من الشيء. This is طاء full. You you pronounce it full. Some of our youth brothers and sisters they say شيطان. شيطان is طاء which is incorrect. So it is شيء طاء full. طان الرجيم. And then بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف حمزة نون كسرة حمزة نون كسرة إن نون ألف فتحة نا إن نا إنا ألف نون فتحة أن زا لام فتحة زل نون ألف فتحة ونون ألف مقصورة نا ها ضم هو فا يا كسرة في لام يا فتحة لي لام فتحة لا تاي مربوط لام كسرة تل قاف دال فتحة قاد را كسرة ري إنا أنزلناه في ليلات القدر. So this is fa ya kasra fi. Inna anzalna hu fi laylatu layla til qadr. And over here there must be a madde. Madde Qasir. So there must be a Madde Qasir over here, inshallah. So this is one ayah. Let me put a ma small mad over here so you can. This is Madde Qasir. إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر. إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر. 
Surely we revealed it on the grand night. Wow, Fatha wa Mim Alef Mat Fatha Ma Alef Dal Fatha Ad Ra Alef Mat Fatha Ra Wa Ma Ad Ra Ka Fatha Ka Mim Alef Mat Fatha Ma Lam ya fatha lay lam fatha la ta tai marbut lam dama tul qaf dal fatha qad ra kasra di wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr And that will, and that, and what will make you comprehend what, what, what the grand night? So over here, my dear brothers and sisters, there is no mud. So accidentally, by mistake, uh, the brother who wrote this put a uh, mud. So wama adraka. ما ليلة القدر. so إن شاء الله ورحمن we use this one. this is better than that. as you see وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر. So we are in ayah number three. Lam ya fatha lay lam fatha la ta ta marbud lam dama tul qaf dal fatha qad ra kasra ri kha ya fatha khay ra mim tanwin dama rum mim nun kasra min alif or Hamza Lam Fata Al Fa Kasra Fi Shin Ha Fata Shah Ratan Minul Kasra Rin. So Layla Tul Qadri Khayrum Min Alfi Shahr Shahr. ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر. The grand night is better than a thousand months. تا فتح تا نون ز فتح نز تانز زا فتح زا لام لام ضم لل ميم فتح ما لام ألف مات فتح لا همزة كسرة إي كا فتح كا تا ضم تو واو را فتح ور را واو ضم رو حا ضم حو فا يا كسرة في ها ألف فتح ها با كسرة بي ألف ذال كسرة إذ نون كسرة ني 
را با فتح رب let me put a little this up so you can inshallah rahman you you can inshallah let, let's make this a little up so inshallah i request from the controlling the control room so inshallah to put this a little up so you can see inshallah thank you brother Thank you, Brother Amr. Okay, inshallah, we have a phone call. See who. Yeah. Say assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, brother. How are you, brother Ali? Alhamdulillah. Okay, alhamdulillah. Well, minna. How was your uh, well, week? Yeah. It was good? Yes. Did you, did you have tests? Exams, right? Final exam? Yeah. Okay, alhamdulillah. You are a very smart brother, inshallah, rahmana. I, I hope you got AIDS. Thank you. Inshallah. Okay, brother, which surah you want to recite and what you want to say? I want to answer a question. Okay, go ahead. Which question and which? The uh, question was uh, in which ayat in the Holy Quran it says you should listen to the Quran and be silent when it is being recited. Okay, go ahead, brother. I think it is Surah Al Araf worth. Four. Okay, that's that's right, brother. Okay, Surah Al Araf, uh, which is Surah number seven, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, thank you, brother. Jazakumullah khair. So, you want to recite the Surah too? Yes. Which Surah you want to recite? Surah Al Hamd. Surah, oh, Surah Al Hamd, you know. I don't know if we went through Surah Al Hamd. So I will, inshallah, put the cards on the screen. And when you see the card, then inshallah, go ahead and recite, OK? OK. Yeah, thank you, brother. Jazakumullah khair. OK, brother. Let's say, a'uzu billah. A'uzu billahi min shaytan rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انا انت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين صدق الله العلي العظيم. العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد. برادر علي، did you did you memorize the meaning of سورة الفاتحة؟ لا. okay إن شاء الله. so let's let's إن شاء الله have a homework، okay؟ إن شاء الله. so this is your homework. memorize the meaning of سورة الفاتحة، okay؟ and okay. then inshallah next uh, next week when you call i will put for you the ayah number for example alhamdulillah rabbil alameen and then you read the <laughs> meaning <laughs> of it yeah praise be to allah the lord of the universe so the same thing yeah. so one by one i put and then inshallah you uh, read the uh, meaning is that good homework Okay, inshallah. Thank you, brother. Jazakumullah khair. Be with us, inshallah, and uh, 
If you want to call back and answer another question, you're welcome to do that, okay? Thank you, brother. I have Ta one request. Yeah, go ahead, brother. If you have any time, can you explain the rule of mean sakin? The rule of mean sakin. Inshallah, why not? I will, okay? Okay, thank, okay, you, brother. thank you, brother. Jazakumullah khair. Okay, no problem. Allah Hafiz, brother. Yeah. Thank you. So, do we, do we have another phone call, brother? Or? Okay, anytime you have, let, let me know. Okay, brother, uh, uh, before we go uh, through uh, the rules of Surah Al, the, the rules of Tajweed in Surah Al Qadr, uh, Mim Sakin has three rules. It has Idgham, it has Izhar, it has Ikhfa. It, or we can say Ikhfa, Izhar, Idgham. So, Mim Sakin has three rules. Idgham, or uh, if you start from the beginning, Ikhfa, Izhar or Idgham. Or we can say Ikhfai Mim Sakin, Izhar Mim Sakin, and Idgham Mim Sakin. So anytime after Mim Sakin comes another Mim, anytime after Mim Sakin comes another Mim, this is Idgham Mim Sakin. And this Mima Saken enters to another Mima Saken which has, which has Shadda and, uh, and becomes just only two memes. So that Mima Saken disappears inside the Mima Mushaddad. So this is Idgham Mima Saken. Anytime after Mima Saken only Ba comes, only Ba, you will have ikhfai mim sakin and an idgham mim sakin and ikhfai mim sakin we stretch it two to three second duration two to three second duration for example mimma mimma instead of mimma we say mimma when we recite and also after mim sakin when ba comes you stretch it two to three second duration and also the rest of the letters when come we never stretch it so after me masakin when the rest of the letters comes we never stretch it just um, meme and ba and by the way meme sakin uh, we we know it is uh, Idgham Mithlain, it is Idgham Mutajan Sain, Mutakabilain. So um, yeah, that's another thing. Okay, brother. So let's inshallah go to brother Suratul Suratul Qadr, right, brother? Okay. Hmm? What's that? Okay. So let's go inshallah. Uh, Continue Surah Al Qadr. Okay? Now it is better. We, we are in Ayah number 5, Sin Fatha Sa. Lam alif fatha la la let me sin fatha sa lam alif fatha lam alif fatha la mim tanwin dama mun 
ha kasra hi ya fatha ya ha ta fatha hatta alif fatha ta mim ta fatha mat lam fatha la ain lam kasra el fa jim fatha faj ra kasra ri so salamun hiya hatta matla'il fajr let's inshallah go through tajweed rules now inshallah rahman as you see my respected brothers and sisters we have over here ghunna so anytime mim or noon so right here now it is noon Anytime noon or meme are mushaddad, it means noon and meme have shadda on the top of them. This small w is called shadda. So anytime noon or meme are mushaddad, they are called ghunna and you stretch it when you recite it from two to three second, second duration. So instead of inna, you say inna. So why we stretch this? Because after the letter of mat, which is this alif, we have the cause, which is this another hamza. So the alif that you see over here, it is hamza. So alif never accept fatha uh, kasra dama or sukun. Alif does not accept Fatha Kasra Dhamma Sukun. So anytime you see in the top of Alif Fatha Kasra Dhamma or Sukun, that's not uh, Alif. That one is Hamza. So this one is ham Alif because it doesn't have any Fatha Kasra Dhamma or Sukun. So Inna Hamza Noon Fatha An an zal an fatha zal so why this is madd munfasil or madd qasir because the letter of mad is in one word in na and the cause or condition is in another word anzalnahu so inna anzalnahu for sure uh, i revealed or we revealed the Quran Sharif in the Laylatul Qadr, in the night of Qadr. So, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. And over here we have Ikhfai Nun Saken. Why? Because we have Nun Saken, and after Nun Saken came Za. So anytime after noon saken za comes, we would have ikhfai noon saken because za is from noon saken. An zalnahu fa ya kasra fi. We make sure we stretch this two haraka, two to second, two to three second duration. Fi lam ya fatha lay la til qadr. You see, this is qalqala. Anytime qutbu, qutbu jad, qaf, ta, ba, jim, dal, has shadda or sukun, we would have qalqala. We make a jerking sound. That's why they have a red color. Qadr. When we stop, this turns to tafkhim. Some of our brothers and sisters make this tarqiq. But if we cross, this is tarqiq. Ra has a kasra. But if we stop, then we would have raya sakin. So that's why it becomes ikhfa uh, because this qaf has a fatha. So in the rule of ra, we said that if ra is sakin, the letter before, we, we see the letter before. If the letter before has sukun, then we see the letter before that. If there is fatha or dhamma, we pronounce it with tafkhim. If it has kasra, we pronounce it with tarqiq. So over here, wa, ma, again, 
as you see we have madde qasir or madde munfasil غير طبيعي so mim alif mad fatha ma again because the letter of mad is in one word and the cause which is this hamza is in another word that's why we have mad qasir and da dal is qalqala wa ma ad ad we make a jerking sound we we move it in its makhraj wa ma ad raka ma layla tul qadr qadr we have to make sure we do not say qadr if we say qadr then we give kasra so qadr the third one lam ya fatha lay lam fatha la ta lam dama tul qaf dal fatha qad again qalqala qad ri khay rum kha kha is one of the huruf musta'ila or isti'la we pronounce it always heavy khay khay rum over here we have ادغام نون ساکن بیکاز دس را هست تنوین و داما این افتر تنوین و داما دیر از وان اف دا حروف یرملون یا را میم لام و نون سو دس از میم اف ات داس وای وی هاف ادغام نون ساکن وین وی سترچ ات تو تو تری سکن دیوریشن خیرم خیرم with khayshum with nose you pronounce it khayrum min alfi shahr when we stop this becomes shahr because ra becomes sakin the letter before which is ha as sukun the letter before has fatha shahr but if we cross shahrin then we would have ikhfai nun sakin because after tanwin al-kasra there is ta uh, and ta is one of the huruf ikhfa tanaz over here we have harf uh, safir tanaz we make a whistling sound tanazalul malaikatu mala this is the alif which is the letter of mat and this is the cause that we have the made متصل or مد طويل so over here we have مد طويل so why because the letter of مد and the causes in the same word ملائكة والروح والروح رو should be pronounced with تفخيم روح فيها بإذن Rab, Rab always should be pronounced heavy. Rab be him and Ra has a fatha too. Rab be him. This is idgham mim sakin. That brother Ali asked. So this is mim and this is another mim. So this mim enters to this mim and remains only two mim. Rabbihim min min and also we have over here ikhfaye nune sakin because kaf is one of the huruf ikhfa and after noon when harf ikhfa comes you stretch it two to three second duration min kulli amr 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 ikhfaye ra when we stop amr if we cross amrin, we would have ikhfaye nune. This is tafkhim, sorry. This is ra with tafkhim, but this is ikhfaye nune sakin. So you stretch it. Amrin salam hiya hatta mat. Again, qalqala la'il faj. Again, qalqala and tafkhim ra. Fajr. So once again, inshallah, I'm going to recite this and I ask Brother Ali to, uh, Brother Sajjad to uh, 
inshallah translated. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في Surely we revealed it on the grand night. And what will make you comprehend what the grand, what the grand night? ليلت القدر خير من ألف شهر. The grand night is better than a thousand nights. تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن رب من كل أمر. The angels and Jibril, Jibril, descend in it by the permission of their Lord for every affair. تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام. Peace. It is. It is still the break of the morning. The angels and Jibril descend it by the permission of their Lord for every affair. He had. Peace. It is till it is till the break of the morning. This salam, salamun means peace, right? Then here hatta matla il faj. It is till the break of the morning. صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجه الشريف. okay إن شاء الله let's have some questions okay brother right okay brother let's have some questions in which سورة In which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the uncle of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny, Abu Lahab? Okay? In which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Abu Lahab, the uncle of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? This is one question. Another question. In which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Fatima al-Zahra, Sayyidat al-Nisai al-Alameen, and uh, it is the shortest surah in the Holy Quran. This much. I know. So you don't, you don't say anything about it, right? The lit, lit brothers and sisters say it, okay? Yeah. yeah. So another question. In which surah we have the story of Abraha? When he wanted to attack Kaaba and destroy Kaaba. So in which surah is that? This is three. Do you want to ask question, brother? Mm. No? Okay. And and uh, 
One more question and then that's it. Okay. In which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the victory? So about the victory. And he says when the victory comes, you will see people entering Islam in congregations and groups. So I'm not going to say anything else. So four questions, inshallah, Rahman. So we will be waiting for the answers. Okay? Okay, brother. Uh, so do you want to recite Surah al um, Surah al Qadr? Yes, brother. I want to wake you up. Right? Today, brother Sajjad is very tired because uh, some. Do you want to say the reason why you're tired? No. <laughs> you don't want to say it? See, he is the king. Brothers and sisters, I can't say anything. If she says no, no then. Okay, go ahead. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr 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 Wa ma adr adraq ma laylatul qadr Make sure you pronounce this wrong. Qadr Qadr Laylatul Qadr Khairun Min Alfi Shar Tanazalul Malaikatu Waruhu Fiha Bi'ithni Rabbihim Rabbihim Min Kulli Amr Salamun Hiya Hat Okay, brother. What about if we both read it? Ready? I say one, two, three, and we go both of us together. One, two, three. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr Laylatul qadr khayrun min alf shahr تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن رب من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر صدق الله العلي العظيم Okay, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. We have just four minutes, brother. No. Oh, really? Two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Yeah, we have two minutes. No. Okay. Let's inshallah repeat the questions one more time. And then inshallah uh, we will say goodbye. Yeah, and so we will see them inshallah next week. Okay. So the question, do you remember the question, brother? Which surah is the shortest surah? No, the shortest. Uh, <laughs> you forgot the question? Yes. Okay, the question was in which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Abu Lahab? The worst uncle of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right? 
He was the worst one. Oh. You know? So, uh, not only him, Allah talks about his wife too in that surah. And his wife wa was the same thing, you know? The enemies of Muslims and Islam. So, this was one question. Another question in which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the shortest surah. In which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the uh, about uh, Fatima al Zahra, Sayyidat al Nisa al Alameen. And uh, another question, question in which Surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the victory and, and people will enter Islam um, and group and congregations. Okay? So Allah says, when, when the victory of Allah comes, you will see people are entering Islam in groups and mm -hmm. congregations. So I'm not going to say the rest of the ayah, then you will figure it, figure it out. And another, in which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Abraha? Abraha. Right? The one who came to destroy Kaaba, But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a small birds, a babil. And there were stones in their beaks, and they destroy Abraham's soldiers, and even Abraham. Okay, and what what else? There was one more question, right, brother? Who broke the Isla? Mm. That's that's Kaaba. So Abraham oh. wanted to destroy Kaaba. Anyway, brothers and sisters, th these questions, inshallah, will be for next week. So we will try to. Uh, write it down so we don't forget or we can memorize it inshallah right so we do not forget it so this was uh, today's uh, mm, today's show. show I think oh yeah well, our time is finished brother okay inshallah let's let's uh, put out, uh, your hands together my dear brothers and sisters and sincerely uh, humbly Inshallah, pray for the coming of our Imam al Zaman, Hazrat Qaim Ali Muhammad, Hazrat Mahdi Ajalallahu Ta'ala Faraj al Sharif. So, Inshallah, he can establish peace in the earth, Inshallah, Rahman. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد this was today's uh, program, uh, my dear brothers and sisters. Please do not forget Wednesday's program because in, on Wednesdays we show some reverted Muslims. We show, inshallah, Rahman, some scientists who reverted to Islam, some, some priests who reverted to Islam, some very knowledgeable people who converted to the uh, Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam madhahab from different madhahib. So inshallah, uh, on Wednesdays, uh, our program starts at 4 o'clock. So inshallah, Rahman, even though that one is in Dari, but these reverted Muslims and other, other things are in English, so inshallah, you will enjoy it. Even some of them are in Urdu, inshallah. We put some Urdu. So last week we put one of our beloved uh, peer, uh, Sayyid uh, Asif Agha Gilani, who, who converted to 
Shia to Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's Madhab and it was in Urdu and uh, Alhamdulillah our brothers and sisters uh, enjoyed it and loved it and thank you for your emailing me Alhamdulillah uh, for those people who emailed me thank you Jazakumullah Khair Inshallah we will be waiting for your email uh, moshrev01 at yahoo.com M O S H R E F 01 at yahoo.com Inshallah Rahman we will be happy to hear from you any suggestions any anything any comments anything that you would like you can inshallah uh, email us and you can inshallah uh, say your suggestions so this was today's program so inshallah Rahman until next time inshallah Rahman assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Hey, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Rahmatullah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.